Right, here's our time inside. Now, you see the, the the camshaft pinions have three slots in. The slot you want to use, the keyway in the cam, as a standard fitting, the keyway in the cam should point to the timing dot. That's the one you use. See that one a bit better, I think. There's the keyway. And it points to the dot on the pinion. And that's the same on your crankshaft. Now, these are a pain, these, because when the nut's on, you can't see the dot. But the keyway is above the dot. So, technically, all your keyways point up to that pinion like that. Yeah, they all, they all point like that. So, you've got two dots on your pinion. Now, they line up with a single dot on your crank pinion. And then you've got, this is a T120R man, and you've got your one dot on your exhaust, and that goes to the one dot on the, in, on the intermediate pinion. And then here we have a choice. We've got one dot on the pinion, and then we have a little dot and a little dash. Now for the T120, you stick it, the dot opposite the dash. And then uh, that is your valve timing set. All you can do in here is make sure all of these faces are nice and clean. Or oh, both the cam bolts are left hand thread. Oh. So yeah, left hand thread. So obviously the screw on backwards. Oh, if I can do it, there you go. It's the oil pump one with a little doody on it. Let's make cam one. And then the tapered one. Then it's got like a shoulder on it. That goes on to our crank and that's a normal thread. Oop. Right, I don't I'm not using a tripod for this little bit because it'll get in the way. Right, I'm, I'm gonna nip these up. You see that there's the standard dot in there, look, just under there, and if the nut's in that position it covers it up. <laughs> so I usually take a file, I don't know whether you can see, take a file and just Angle that tooth a bit so you, so you can see it, so you, it's your own personal mark. Take your nut off, find out where the dot is, and just get a file in and just, just file it so it's just a bit of an angle. Or shinier than the rest, just to give you a clue. Right, before my battery runs out, I'm just going to flat this. So I've got a piece of glass, some used 600 grit. And just carefully do that. It's really it's to make sure it's flat and just to get the old gasket off. There you go. That won't leak. Right, give it a bit of a wash out with petrol. Fill it with oil. Clag it on. Right, I'm going to put the oil pump on. Just pull my little plug out. Nice new gasket. Make sure you put it on the right way around and get the holes, holes lined up. A nice new gasket. Oh, I don't like the look at that. That's no good at all. That the holes are crap. They're rubbish. Look at that. Look at all that. Them are half covering them walls, man. That's terrible. It's that far out. I'll tell you, you should be careful of that new gasket. Yeah, I'll make better ones than that. Look at that. You need half a wall out here to get the rest lined up. And I do not want my oil holes blocking up. That's disgusting, that. Oh, a bit of modification on that gasket. Job to a halt. Put your plug back in. Keep 
Kiri ne ye bugün? That's what happens when you don't drain your oil. <laughs> right, the edge of the crankshaft, the end of the crankshaft has a taper on it. Um, you can with the, just make sure that there's no little chips, dinks or nothing around that bit. That wants to be perfectly smooth. This one's sharp. And if you put the seal straight over that, it'll, it can cut the edge off the seal. So I usually make a little cover. Just, yeah, let's have a look. This is how I would do it. A bit of cardboard around first. Could do about the right length. This is just as I measure this. That'll do, near enough. I'm going to piece of cellophane. Ah, just cut that about that length. Yeah, straight up there. Right. So I've got a piece of cellophane now, what will wrap around there, or most of the way around. Rub oil. Right, what else I can mention in here? Um, oh, I'm stuck. What can I mention? The oil pump, the oil pump nuts, the special nuts, the tapered, with a tapered washer. Now I noticed I got some new washers. Now these springy things, these springs are on the outside. On the st the original ones, they're on the inside. So I've used the original spring washers, but new nuts. But they're tapered, and you must use the proper nuts. I modernised that gasket. I used my ball bearing trick. Just put it on the pump, twiddled it, and got the mark in the right place. And I've cut off the excess because there was half of it hanging inside as well. Right. Well, with me a bit of cellophane, Ooh, a little bit of oil on that. I roll me, roll me cellophane up, and poke it in me seal. Got, got a tube of it. Pop it in there like that. You see, I'll just pop it in. So it pokes out. Then I'll slide that over the shaft. And then with a bit of look, don't forget your wires. Should cut them different lengths so they'll go up the wall. <laughs> right. Oh. The way I lock the crankshaft up and the cams to tighten these, I knock it into gear and use the back brake. There's a bit of spring in the primary chain and things, but it ends up locked up and you can nip it then. So... I wonder if I can get that camera in a better place. I don't know whether this camera angle will work. Right, I've got my bit of cellophane there. And I'm gonna just aim it over the over the shaft. Oh shizen. And then carefully aim the shaft in. Aim it in. Right. Ooh. Let's move the camera again. There you go. It's popped on. It should just pull out. There you go. And that's that ceiling. Right. Bolt that up.
Oh, I put a small smear of um, silicon around that case. Uh, you can get gaskets. I've never used one on it. I just glass my casings. Um, so I'll nip that up and rub them off. Right. <laughs> 